Moscow says Ukrainian troops have advanced some 30 kilometers inside Russia. And Russia is continuing airstrikes against major Ukrainian cities, including Kyiv, with Moscow found to be using North Korean missiles. Lee seung reports. During the two and a half years of the war in Ukraine, Russia has been on the offensive for the most part, with Ukraine doing all it can to defend itself. But the tide has seemingly turned, with Ukraine now sending troops into Russia. The Ukrainian offensive in Russia's Kursk region is now on the sixth day, with Moscow calling it a federal emergency and admitting that Ukrainian troops have advanced far into its territory. According to Moscow's defense ministry on Sunday, Ukrainian troops have advanced some 30 kilometers inside Russia in what is being considered the most significant infiltration within the Russian territory since the war began in February 2022. The comments come a day after Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky confirmed that his troops are fighting in Russia. Today, I received several reports from Commander-in-Chief Sirsky regarding the front lines and our actions to push the war onto the aggressor's territory. I'm grateful to every Defense Forces unit for ensuring that. Ukraine is proving that it can indeed restore justice and ensure the necessary pressure on the aggressor. The statements mark the first time that the Ukrainian president had officially admitted to the incursion, having remained quiet despite being days into its operation. In response to the Ukrainian offensive, Russian Foreign Ministry spokesperson Maria Zakharova accused Ukraine of intimidating the peaceful population of Russia. Meanwhile, Russia has continued its airstrikes in major Ukrainian cities overnight, including the capital Kyiv, killing two people, including a four-year-old child and his father. Kyiv's Air Force says it shot down 53 of the 57 Russian attack drones, adding that Russia had used North Korea's KN-23 short-range ballistic missiles during the offensive. With Ukraine sending its troops inside Russia and Moscow looking to both counter and respond to their offensives, the prolonged war could see more bloodshed moving forward. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.